The war is far from over. As a matter of fact, it's only just begun. Many of you might recall the Nickelodeon tower defense game, Nick Kingdoms. You would choose a kingdom represented by a Nickelodeon show between SpongeBob SquarePants, The Breadwinners, Sanjay and Craig, Power Rangers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or Winx Club. You would then fight through the other kingdoms to become the ultimate Nickelodeon champion. In the lore, you were fighting to obtain every other kingdom's relic to combine them at the Temple of Tremendous Tendency. It was a really good and well-balanced game, even for someone like me who wasn't smart enough for most tower defense games. But everyone kind of agreed that the ending was... just a little strange. You destroy all the other kingdoms and combine all their relics, but then Jorgen von Strangle from the Fairly Odd Parents appears. He says that Timmy Turner wished for a big dream adventure, but he couldn't wake up from it, so Crocker captured his fairy godparents. Because the kingdoms were all destroyed, the fairies are doomed, so he sends you back in time to start the game over. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people said they thought this was the bad ending and they did something wrong. But no, it's just a very strange conclusion. But thankfully, there's another game in this series, so maybe we can get a resolution to this storyline. Or not. Here's something completely different. Nickelodeon Kingdom's Castle Combat is the lesser-known sibling to Nickelodeon Kingdom's. It's actually so unknown that it's kind of hard to find these days. It was also developed by Workin' Man and had the same art style, but fewer features and a different format from the first game altogether. Since we had so much fun defending the honor of the Winx when we last played Nick Kingdoms, I figured we'd give this one a try too. However, when I first tried to make this video, I was met with some pushback. From the game itself, nonetheless. Like I said, this is a very difficult game to find. The only place I could find it was Flashpoint, but that version wouldn't work. But if there's one thing I've learned about games on Flashpoint, it's that if they don't work one day, come back later and they might fix themselves. Maybe someone who runs the program did some tinkering around, but it miraculously started to work for me one day. Somewhat. For some reason, the game could pick up whenever I was running a recording software and refused to load. I'm not joking. I used two different programs to try and record this, but whenever it would reach a loading screen, it would completely freeze. But when I'd stop recording, the game would continue as normal. So I just had to record this in fragments. The game's a lot like my dog, somehow always knows when a camera's on and refuses to act in accordance with it. But I can't say I blame it. It clearly doesn't want me to record the gruesome details of the bloody battles about to unfold. The horrors of war are enough to scar anyone for life. But let's get on with it. Now I love Spongebob, but keeping up with the last video, we'll retain our allegiance to the Winx Club. The only big difference between each show is the special move you can pull off. You might be disappointed to see that this isn't story-driven and doesn't have as many features put into it as the other Nick Kingdoms, but maybe that's how you like it. Maybe you just want a straight battle. Each round, you face off against a different show and have to shoot projectiles at the other show's kingdom. You have to lower its health bar and destroy it before it can destroy you. Now when I first tried to play this, I thought something was wrong because of how hard it was to aim. You click the mouse button, then drag it to map out the direction you want your projectile to fly in. But you see Kiko here? That's a special projectile, and I made the mistake of starting with it. It has a lot more weight, and you can't drag it very far, so I thought the controls were broken at first. That's because when you throw it, Kiko bounces all the way to the enemy castle for a guaranteed hit. It deals extra damage than usual, too. This is actually unique, because the other kingdoms have special attacks that mostly just break through barriers and fly straight toward a kingdom for one big hit. Ha, oh, great, I just got crushed by a sandwich. But even if you aren't using a special move, the controls do take some getting used to. You have to drag across the screen in the lower left-hand corner. It's hard to explain, but by clicking and dragging to the left, you aim your trajectory. It's easy to get the hang of when you know what to do, but it might feel a little flimsy at first. But most of the stages are a breeze from that point on. Just make sure you're facing exactly where you want to be when you click. That's the point of no return. If you accidentally click prematurely, your aim will be locked wherever you're facing. This is a fatal mistake in later stages when every shot counts. Just like in a real fight, there's no going back once your weapon is cocked. But while playing, there are stage obstacles and collectibles that advance your artillery. Most special moves can break through obstacles, but you mostly have to work around them. This star will give you a special projectile, but it's usually in a spot you have to go out of your way to reach. You get to keep your special moves if you don't use them, so it's best to save them for the harder stages. Most of the early ones are really easy. The other power-ups are a shield that lightens the enemy's next strike on your kingdom, and a sword that gives your next attack more strength. Also a golden cannon. These aren't usually too hard to reach. Aside from that, it's all about navigating the obstacles with your ammo. You gotta aim as strategically as you can. 
But you can also do this. Whoa, where's the battlefield going? Okay, now we're breaking the game. But you fight through the Nicktoons in a set order. As the Winx, we start by conquering the Sponge, then we move on to the Turts. I like their special move because they all fly up in a circle before diving into you. Luckily, I'm always prepared for raining turtles. Once we've made a batch of turtle soup, we face Sanjay and Craig. Hey, is that a butt? Don't throw your butts at me! They're shooting it out of a meat cannon, so I hope they weren't planning to eat it. Then it's on to the Power Rangers. They shoot massive daggers at you. Now I can handle pineapple, sewer lids, and gluteal muscles, but that's frickin' scary. Now the real challenge comes when we face the breadwinners. Every stage up until this point has been mostly easy, just a little time-consuming to navigate the obstacles, but this level dials the difficulty from 2 all the way to 9. This was the first time the Winx Kingdom was seriously threatened. And believe it or not, even with the power of magic and harmony on our side, we still lost. I guess we got ahead of ourselves. Even the mightiest kingdoms can fall. But here's the thing. If you want to try again, you have to start from the very beginning. I mean, it's not too much to ask if there are only five battles that are mostly easy, so let's do it. Now I'm determined. Let's train ourselves to take on Butt Juice and Swaggity Swoo once and for all. SpongeBob, we've been through a lot. Thank you for making my childhood less troubling with your show and silly PC games, but let this demonstrate the cruelty of war. Turtles, as awesome as ninjas are, they're nothing compared to the fairy magic of Winx. Hey, that could work as a serious battle. Someone should make that. Sanjay and Craig, your butts may be powerful, but I'm the toilet paper. Prepare to be wiped out. Power Rangers Super Mega Force? More like Power Rangers Super Mega Farce. And again, Winx Club vs. Power Rangers is such a cool concept. Why are we fighting with castles? I'd play a game where it's just cast from each show duking it out. So the key is to save as many special moves as possible so you can use them in the harder stages. With three Kikos in my artillery, I was able to drain their health pretty quickly, but it came down to the wire when I only had regular shots left. They almost got us, but we managed to pull through. So overall, this is a pretty decent game with some fun stages and a cool way to- wait, wait, wait a minute, wait, what? We're still going? Uh, <laughs> I, uh, kinda thought that was gonna be the last stage. I, uh, used up all my special moves. So yeah, once you clear all the shows, you have to fight them again. And again, and again. And with how many stages there are, I kinda wish there was a level select screen. It's painful having to start over from the very beginning if you die on level 20 or later. But you're really only going for a high score and there isn't any story to drive you, so I guess winning isn't exactly the goal here. There aren't any winners in war after all. This game teaches very important lessons. Now what's interesting is that even after the first round of fights, some stages can still be really easy. Sometimes the obstacles are really basic and simple to navigate, but to be honest, most of them are easy at their core. It's more so the fact that they take a long time to win when you have to work through several different obstacles. Some fights can drag on for a bit too long because of this. It's a bit of a trade-off. It's easy, but it takes a lot of time. It requires patience if you're determined to see it through. I think as a whole, the game is okay, but I do miss all the extra details that were put into the tower defense one. It had more life to it and more variance from stage to stage. I feel like they could have added more obstacles or more aspects unique to each show, just so there would be more motivation to keep going. Because there are so many stages that can take some time to get through, I feel there should be more driving you through it. The game works as a simple time killer, but it isn't groundbreaking or anything. Just an amusing game where you can utterly destroy your favorite Nicktoons. Now if you'll excuse me, we have a war to win. Thank you for joining me, I will see you in the next memory. You're safe now.